Hello and welcome to an overview of Raspi. Raspi is a collection of services that you can use to build an offline voice assistant. It works well with home automation software like Home Assistant or Node-RED. These services can be swapped out so you can have uh, different things that might handle speech-to-text for example or intent recognition or text-to-speech. And they all communicate over an MQTT broker with a similar protocol that SNPs had called the Hermes protocol. Uh, Raspi fills the same role as something like a smart speaker, like an Alexa or a Google Home. However, uh, unlike, unlike these services where the actual intelligence relies on a cloud server, uh, Raspi works locally on a network, so you can run Raspi on a single device and communicate with different services locally on your network. Or you can even run Raspi uh, on a base station, something like an Intel Nuke or a a larger server and then you can have different satellites around your house that listen and play audio and still communicate with Home Assistant or OpenHAB or something. A typical way of running Raspi is using something like a re-speaker sitting on a Raspberry Pi. It works well on a Raspberry Pi 3 or 4. Uh, you can also run it on a Zero um, as a satellite but speech-to-text and stuff should be run on at least a Raspberry Pi 3 and it works better on something like a Nuke. Raspi has a web interface that you can access through a browser. Along the top here you can see the various services that are currently running in green. And there are other buttons here to interact uh, with the server to test out functionality. The settings page shows all of the configured services and you can drop down menus to see their individual settings. So here I've configured Pi Audio to record, Call D for speech to text, the default intent recognizer, Nano TTS as the text to speech system, play out through the speakers on this device and I'll use Raspi itself to manage the dialogue so when I configure a wake word uh, Raspi will automatically invoke the speech to text and intent recognizer once I uh, wake it up. After configuring your services the first thing you want to do in a Raspi installation is customize your voice commands. You can go click on this button for the sentences or you can use the drop down menu up here. The default set of voice commands kind of try to cover a common home automation scenario. Let's delete these and start from scratch. I'm going to create a single intent called test and it will have a single way to activate it, one sentence. So if I say this is a test, I should get back a test intent. Now when you're done, you save the sentences and automatically retrain Raspi. What this is doing is training both a speech model and an intent recognizer. So it'll transcribe the text and then it'll also attempt to match it to an intent that you've defined here. We can test out a voice command by waking Raspi up and just speaking it. This is a test. So the transcription that came back is listed here. The recognized intent uh, is shown in red here. If there were any additional slot values for named entities, then you would see them below. Clicking the Show JSON button lets you actually see the JSON that Raspi would send down to Home Assistant or Node-RED. Uh, for right now, all this really contains is the intent that was recognized and the actual text that came back. We can test out the intent recognizer by typing a different sentence in the text box here. So if I type in something like, this is the best, we'll see that no intent was recognized. That's because this is the best is not a possible sentence that we've specified. However, if I go and speak that sentence, this is the best, we'll see that Raspi actually pushed it to become one of the voice commands that it recognizes. This is a big difference between Raspi and a cloud service. Raspi will try to fit what you say to one of the sentences that you've specified. If you want Raspi to differentiate between the two sentences, it's as easy as adding another voice command. So here I'm going to add a new intent called best, and I'll type in that sentence. Now I just need to retrain Raspi, and I should be able to speak the new voice command this is the best. So now you can see that the correct sentence has come through and the old voice command still works. This is a test. And now we have two different intents, two different voice commands.
You can tailor the voice commands to exactly how your downstream system expects to receive the events. So here maybe my system like Home Assistant, I want to have a single intent instead. I'm going to call this test best and have two different ways of activating it. And maybe importantly I want to know whether test or best came across. So I'm going to actually tag these portions of the sentence. Uh, I'll tag them as some special word here. Now I'm going to retrain and I can speak the same commands. This is a test. And here now you can see that there's a slot named word whose value is test. If I go look in the JSON uh, I can come down here and see the various slots that are available. So test comes across and if I speak the other voice command this is the best. Now you see best comes across for word instead. So however your downstream system expects the intents to be received, like your node red flow, uh, you can customize Raspi to put out events um, just like that. Next I'm going to demonstrate how you can add a custom word pronunciation. In the words tab here, you can look up existing pronunciations. So I'm going to look up the word test. This little icon indicates that Raspi already has that in a phonetic dictionary. And below, these are the pronunciations that are available. It's only got one for the word test. You can click the link up here to see for your particular speech model and language what the different phonemes are and example words of how they're used. So the symbol three is the er in bird, for example. Uh, if the word's not in the dictionary, then Raspi will try to guess uh, how it's pronounced. So I'm going to put in one here from a Doctor Who show. Raxacoricophalipatorius. And here you can see a number of guesses. Now what you can do is ask Raspi to pronounce them. Which sounds pretty close to me. So I'm going to go ahead and add that custom word. And I'm going to copy the spelling. And now I'm going to save and say I'm going to wait to retrain. Now back in my sentences, um, I can add this word up here as an option. So I can either say this is a test or this is a Raxic Oracle Falibatorius. I'll go ahead and retrain Raspi. And now I should be able to come in here and say this word that it's never heard before. This is a Raxic Oracle Falibatorius and you can see it come through correctly in the word slot. So this is how you can extend Raspi to words that it doesn't know how to pronounce initially. You can use Raspi hands-free by enabling a wake word service. For this demonstration I'm going to use Mycroft Precise and the default wake word of Hey Mycroft. So I'll save the settings and restart Raspi. And now when I come back to the test, I should be able to speak a voice command after the wake word. Hey, Mycroft. This is the best. Okay. So now we can say voice commands, and the dialog manager will engage the speech recognition service and the intent recognition service to process those events. Hey, Mycroft. This is a Raxacoricophalipatorius. Lastly, I'm going to demonstrate connecting to Raspi from a node red flow. I'm going to use the WebSocket API, although you could also use MQTT or there's an HTTP API uh, that you can click this button to investigate more. So over on the node red side, I'm going to add a debug node as well as a WebSocket input. So we're just going to view the messages coming out of Raspi. I'm going to connect to Raspi on this machine at localhost port 12101 and the intent event is what I'm after. There are several others you can use as well. I'm going to show the entire message here as well as in the debug. Okay, with that connected I should be able to view any voice commands over here that come through. Hey Mycroft, 
This is the best. All right, so now the intent JSON that came through shows which intent was recognized and the slots associated with that. You can also see which wake word activated this intent if you had multiple wake words and get some extra information. Hey, Mycroft. This is a Raxacorical Fallopatorius. So you can see multiple intents will keep on coming through and you could process them in a flow and take some action like text-to-speech or uh, activate some other downstream service. This has been a brief overview of Raspi. If you're interested in learning more, please check out the documentation online. And if you need help, uh, please visit the Raspi community site or GitHub. Thank you.